glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing. And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. How are you going to test it? On myself, of course. That was the plan. This serum will only counteract the specific strain of FEV that I infected myself with. There's no telling what it might do to anyone else. Protect and serve. All right. Here we go. Virgil. Sorry. Was there something else? How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. I'm a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. 
So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. That sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster with a capital D. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Let's find it then. We gotta do one thing first. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. Hey. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat, huh? You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Are you in danger? I signed on for light recon. But that little Slocum's jaw of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches! <sighs> if I haven't been made yet, I'll be spotted when I leave here. I'm goddamn trapped. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, Better ask soon. Hey. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Speaking of truth, why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. So you handled the talkie talk, and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. 
Why would Ricky lie? People always got reasons to lie. The Institute could have turned him. Or, more likely, he's just seriously pissed off at us. Take your pick. He's probably telling the truth. But you never know. I agree. Odds are good we can take him at face value. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So we're going in through the escape tunnel. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Won't be able to hack this. Hey. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. Ready to go. First step is to override the security lockdown. Hey, what can I do? Over here. Of course. Well, the terminal's on it. Hey, shoot. I'm going to feed it some passwords. No. 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 Ah, missed one, you cocky bastards. The prototype's deeper inside. Someone left a rail sign here. No way, is this why? Is that in the center of that rail sign. That means there's a cash. It looks like they even managed to hide something.
probably save some lives. time to take the defenses up ahead. Power them up, we can give our friends a little surprise. That's it. There. Now I understand. You are hiding because you fear death. Hello, must be terrified.
Prototype is locked up in the heart of the city. that play button. Carrington, Stanley, Salas and Claude needs a woman Lex. Open says me. Gone. Thank God someone managed to close the security lines. Carrington's prototype is So Tommy Whispers didn't make it out. He died protecting our secrets. Let me see. There. Perfect. Tommy would want you to have his hand cannon. Don't let it size fool you. Why are you giving this to me? Our best agents carry special ordnance made by Tinker Tom. He's... Well, you'll know when you meet him. Call this gun a vote of confidence. Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. Where's that play button? Carrington, Stanley, Salas, Crote, Supreme Lex. Open oh, says me. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the windows on this side of the mine. Hey. I didn't think I'd ever see this place again. You must be terminated. End of the line. Just power up the elevator.
hostile sensor reading detected. New girl patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true, and then some. If you didn't have the prototype, I'd think you're both lying through your teeth. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad. Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. 
Your life, your name, your choice. Call me Charmer. Charmer? Hmm. Fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly top, guarded you gotta secrets. Be careful. So be never careful know when you're being watched. You never can tell when you're being watched. This is it. It may lack the amenities of a switchboard, but it's safe. We've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Ah, it's our newest agent. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. What? You don't think I can handle a dangerous job? The danger doesn't concern me. Your work at the switchboard proves you can deal with that. I just hope the mission doesn't require knowledge about synths in our procedures. Something you've had scant opportunity to learn. Cut to the chase. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth, H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. What's a dead drop? Come on, Blue. This is an amateur hour. Oh, dear Lord. A dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. any trouble. Hey, my Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you I have know. a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone a bit more uh, armed. You're with our mutual friends, yes? That's right. It's always nice to make new friends. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. 
So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. No one likes delays. And we wouldn't want to keep anyone waiting. It's bad for business. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to someplace nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So if you could... So I just need to wipe out a few raiders? Done. <laughs> I like you already. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery. So if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do this tonight. See you soon. You there. We need to have a conversation. You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who, from what I hear, you may fit the bill. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You'll get paid the starting rate, like everybody else. If you turn out to be as useful as you claim... By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill. Get real come Load a little heavy there. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. One moment, one moment. I just have to. <coughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. The stuff in here is older than you, Blue. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Are you talking about aliens, UFOs, and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. I don't think we were done. That's... Really interesting. You're not buying this hooey. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. 
So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Come on out! Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly.
easy there. Don't shoot, Charmer, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. It's nice to meet you. Honor's all mine. Let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. What do you mean, a new face? We gotta file off the serial numbers on new arrivals, make it hard for the Institute to find them. Most sense going for a brand new set of memories as well. You know, for that extra protection and all. But first, we gotta get them to safety. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. You do anything else there? Most of what we do is look after the new guys. They usually got a million questions, so I try and answer as best I can. We got some of our own questions, too, about the Institute and whatnot. Agents sometimes drop by to lay low if the bad guys are on their tail. Never a dull moment. I'll lead the way. Safe page two. You gotta keep moving. Hi, Raz. And we're here. All in a night's work for you agent types. Huh. Just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like you even more than Glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Later.
Carrington. Heavy's bloody traipsing around at all hours. I take it the H-222 situation has been resolved? Of course, but there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. I'll get it done. Details await at the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. Anyone could figure out a good use. Terminal's gotta be somewhere. Thank you. 
more shoes. Protectron on duty. Protect and serve.
obvious. Where'd that little bitch go? I can't need you in her room. Your signal interceptor actually worked. I really don't know what to say. Augusta's safe house was destroyed by the Institute. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. Hard to imagine. 
I have nothing further for you at the moment. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of files to be put out. Desdemona. I just heard the most fascinating rumor. The story goes that you actually found the Institute. Been there and back again. Sounds crazy, right? Where'd you hear that? Deacon brought it to my attention. And, as usual, he won't give up his source. I don't know what you're talking about. Deacon said you'd deny it. But he has proof you used teleportation, of all things, to get inside the Institute. You must feel justifiably proud of what your Minutemen have achieved in such a short time. Eventually, the Minutemen will devise their own plan to deal with the Institute. But I doubt your soldiers will place any priority on rescuing the Synths inside. I'm counting on you being as passionate about freeing Synths as we are. Please, work with us instead. You think the Minutemen won't help the Synths? The Minutemen are a reflection of the character of the Commonwealth people. And time and time again, that character has been proven to be rotten. The Synths are tangible receptacles of their hatred of the Institute. Order them to help, and they'd mutiny. I don't know. Take your time. Think it over. But remember, the Synths' fate is literally in your hands. <laughs> 